Hello and welcome to Bay 1, this is Trafal Maraxi, just doing a quick overview of the changes that are going to be coming uh, tomorrow, I think, so long as there's no delays. Um, FreeJam are going to be doing a lot of updates and modifications to the game. Uh, a lot of it is going to be dealing with patch changes or fixes and stuff like that, but... Um, Probably the biggest for the higher tier players is that all uh, electro plates are basically going to be available uh, for tier tens with all shapes and sizes. Um, yeah, and it's a much. It's going to be interesting. Um, the colours are going to be a bit different. I'm not sure. Um, just how different. Apparently it's going to be black and red armoring for the T10 variants. Um, but we'll see exactly how that is. I haven't seen any pictures or anything. Uh, but that's going to probably be one of the, the bigger changes. The Electro Plates will also begun. overclock. And um, yeah, healing for Electro Plates is going to be a little bit different. So when they're repaired, I'm Your guessing it says they will heal unarmed. Um, my interpretation of that is that it will mean that Electro Plates will just um, still need to recharge after they've actually been repaired. Which, that's kind of logical and a little bit more fair. Also matches with how rail guns work as well. Um, plasma damage will also overclock, which apparently plasmas didn't overclock or something. That's nice to know. Uh, I thought they did, but maybe it was just direct damage or something. Yeah, um... SMG cruiser spotted. Your right fusion tower yeah. has been captured. Um, what else? Your top fusion tower has been captured. Um, sorry, it's hard to do this while actually playing as well. Um, uh, volume control for the voice. Yes, that would be great. Probably one of my biggest pet annoyances. I've had to really mess around with the sound controls in Robocraft to make it tolerable. Um, yeah. Oh no. I'm down. They got me, Bubba. Luckily, I've got reverse thrusters, so I can. Yeah, there we go. SMG tank spotted. Ah, yeah, sorry. Um, getting distracted with playing the game. Uh, some other things uh, with the ally health and things like that. Um, so a lot of overall general improvements. Some nurse to tracks and TX1 SMGs. A lot of bug fixes in the they've essentially uh, fixed some issues with defending players overclocking too fast. Um, and just improving that. Also bring in some of the uh, game mode elements into play for newer players earlier on. So you'll have some additional elements available at tier 1 and tier 2 and tier 3. I think tier 3 will actually now have all of the game mode ver um, elements for the new meta. Which I think that's a good thing. Um, ah. Go on. Get down and repair. 
Your team has captured the right fusion tower. Uh, also, new cosmetic cubes which you'll be able to buy through the store. Apparently, you're going to be able to buy carbon using TP, which that's cool. Um, it's going to be fancy armor. I'm not sure what difference it is, but um, I'm assuming it's going to be essentially a T10 variant, but um, well, it might be TX or something. We don't know. Given that normal carbon is TX, I think it might be TX, just with a different TX armor, just with a different skin. But we'll find out about that one. Um, ah, God, screwed up. No. Come on, need to heal. SMG cruiser spotted. Yeah, dead. Um, so yeah, some other stuff like that, and then let's get on to towers. Uh, where was the information on towers? Sorry, gotta load that up. So yeah, uh, changes on towers. Um, basically the tower texture is being changed to a glass texture so that you can actually see the blocks in it at the moment if you look at the towers here they're a solid texture but that's going to be changing to a transparent glass and the thing at the top is being made a little bit bigger as well um, yeah which that's a good change I think Ah, got me. Yeah, anyway. Um, the crystal cluster is now lo going to be lowered and around the central core, similar to the way the base works. So the, instead of having to try and get to it from the side, you can shoot it from all around. It also means that while you're shooting the crystal, you're still going to be able to see the horizon. Um, Thin the width of the tower to improve visibility or the trunk. I guess that just means that you can see around it a little bit more. Um, and make the color of neutral crystals kind of an in-between color. Um, which makes more sense than the gray, to be honest. The gray was a little bit what? Your right fusion tower and is having under like a attack. weird purple as an in-between color between uh, red and blue, yeah, is more logical. Ah, not doing so well with this flyer at the moment. It's it is a weak design. It was a it was made for the 450 CPU challenge, so it was never really intended for these types of game modes. The fact that I have any kind of success with it is probably amazing on its own. Ah. Your bottom fusion tower is under attack. I have not kill me. There we go. Anyway, um, how fusion towers work with the overclocker, that's probably going to be a big one. Uh, essentially, you won't overclock um, to start with. Uh, to get your fusion shield active, you need to have control of a fusion tower. So you're, you know, you're, this fusion shield won't come up until you actually have a tower. Uh, if two towers captured, you will be able to start overclocking. Uh, three towers cla captured. Fusion tower is under attack. Uh, you will start earning Plasma automatic passive SMG cycles for your fusion, your uh, for your overclock. And three, uh, four rather, so it just brings down the enemy fusion tower, so it doesn't give any additional benefit outside of that. Under attack. Um, yeah, change is definitely needed. The plutonium reactor is under attack. Doing really badly here. Um, clock cycle only changes, so... Uh, 
clock cycles earned from defending has been reduced, which is fine, okay. Uh, Proneness to liberty and respawn calculator. Now this is something that will help with uh, the game not ending so early, but um, also controlling the game times to be a little bit more predictable. Um, so essentially you will deal more damage with the more towers you own, but that also gets multiplied by the game time, so early on in the game you're not actually going to be able to deal as much damage uh, to crystals, but later on in the game you'll be able to deal a lot more, deal a lot more which that's something that I think I need to do, but that also applies to the respawn times uh, early on in the game, uh, your respawn times will be kind of longer. Um, so if you have towers and stuff, apparently that impacts your respawn times and stuff. I'm not sure, we'll see. Um, yeah, so the more towers you own, the quicker you respawn. So it's going to make pushing later in the game a lot more important and tower control a lot more important overall. Yeah, definitely needed changes. Yeah, ah, we fly a be broke. SMG cruiser spotted. Man, I have no stability here, even with two rudders. That's just crazy. Boom. I think we win. Anyway. Uh, yeah, so that was really terrible gameplay by me. Um, yeah, so... Yeah, essentially stuff will scale with the number of towers you own and the time in game. And... Yeah, it should prevent game stalemating and r overrunning. Um, it will also get rid of a lot of the shorter games in theory and supposedly teams that play together more will overclock better and stuff like that. But anyway, uh, that's enough for this part of the video and I'll be back in a short while to stream for actual gameplay type stuff. Thank you for watching and we'll see you goodbye. Uh, see you around or something in the game. Whatever, something like that. Oh, uh, and don't forget to check out the Windward videos that I've been putting up. It's a single developer game, uh, kind of based on Sid Meier's Pirates. And it's got some interesting PvP side of things. Not really a aggressive PvP, but PvE more events and stuff. And I've been having fun playing that, so check those out. And yeah, we'll see you around. Goodbye.